Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Boston Red Sox taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. First pitch coming your way next. Almost ready to get underway. And today's starting pitcher, Shohei Otani. And Singy, he's one of the most dominant arms in all of baseball. Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. Here comes a pitch. Jaron Duran leading things off and takes a strike. Bunt it back towards the pitcher. On to first. Yep, Out on a bang bang play, but he made it close. Here's a check of the Red Sox lineup put together by manager Alex Cora. Big challenge for them today as they take on a pitcher who brings electric stuff and really racks up the strikeouts. Yeah, and it's all about making good contact against a pitcher like this. You're not going to get very many pitches to hit in an at bat, maybe even in a game. So you've got to be ready, zoned in in the spot where you think you've got the best chance and jump all over it. Might be the first pitch in the at-bat, so you better walk up there ready from the jump. If they can make early, consistent contact, I think they'll have a much better shot against him. No, Just missed. Off. One out, base is empty. And that is cut on and missed. One and, two. and the count is one and two. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Swings and misses. Two down. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Tyler O'Neill. Strike on the inside corner. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Hernandez brings it in for the third out. And the Dodgers are coming up to hit. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in L.A. And towing the slab in this one, Cutter Crawford. What do you got on him, Chris? Well, this guy featuring that straight four seam fastball, but off of it throws the cutter. And really, he's most effective when he's using that cutter off the four seam fastball just to miss the barrel of the bat. Not always going to see the swings and misses, but if you can somehow get weaker contact, you have a chance to collect some outs. Now, it's going to look the same until the very last second. So hitters are going to have to make a decision and hope that sometimes they're able to guess right. Gavin Lux in the box now. No balls and a strike. Foul ball there. The wind of the pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Missed by a lot. Going to count one and two. Good and hit. another ball. 
Here's the 2 2. Fights it off, you'll see another. The wind of the pitch. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass. It's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders. Have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. One and oh. One down, base is empty. Foul ball. And a pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Great swing and solid contact. Just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer. And that's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Couldn't have timed it up any better that's than that. Great. You'll often hear the phrase that's short to it, it long right through it. And that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Man at first, one away. Late on that fastball. Wow, good oh, luck dude. catching up to that one. Not Not even close there. Now one and two. On the ground could be two. Hamilton fired to second. Oh. What a double play that was. Inning over. Nothing on the board for the Dodgers in the first. We're back on the show from Chavez Ravine in a few. No score. Back here at Dodger Stadium. And now Rafael Devers. Rafael. Yeah, and here's a fun stat on Devers. He's at his best when he's hitting homers and doubles. And by the time he was 26 years old, Devers already had over 150 home runs and more than 200 doubles. He's just the 15th player in baseball history with those kinds of numbers at that age. And yeah, the right hander deals. Swing it a foul straight back. The healthy cut, tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. And here it comes. Good oh, eye right there. Right and on. another ball. pitch 99 miles per hour to finish him off toughest pitch to hit fastball and then the outer black man sometimes you just got to tip your cap now it's the second baseman and Manuel Valdez first pitch doesn't find the zone Otani the former MVP he throws a slurve a four seamer a cutter a splitter and he works in a sinker second inning here no score So two balls and no strikes. Larry Bullard, our umpire behind the plate. But Bullard's got a pretty standard strike zone. Sometimes they'll have you guessing a little bit, but overall, well-respected umpire in the league. 
right through there for a strike. Two Looks balls. like he's just One sizing strike. him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. Clobber to right field, way back, gone. A gigantic blast. And a Red Sox jump in front. It's 1-0. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. Base is empty, one away. And now the catcher comes up to him. Connor Wong. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. One out, base is empty, and a run in here at the top of the second. Pitch is in the no dirt, strike. two and oh. Otani. Maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, pitchers, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. Line drive. Caught. Man, he really turned on that one. Absolutely ripped it towards third, but quick cat-like reflexes down there at the hot corner to bring it down. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? No, partner, every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track, and then you have a great show. Uh, so perhaps it's the same with him. Okay. Nobody really wants their rhythm broken up, but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up. Two down, nobody on. Right back to him on the mound. Tosses to first, and that'll do it. The Red Sox pick up a run on the homer. It's an early 1-0 lead. Back after this on the show. Back here at Chavez Ravine, here's Teoscar Hernandez. And he deals. Fought off foul. Here comes the one. That one fouled off. struck him out and now one away we'll take a look at the three pitch sequence here pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate once you're ahead 0 2 as a pitcher you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle and right there clearly he was in swing mode but all you can do is hope to foul that off Andy Pajes steps to the plate for the Dodgers That one hit to right. Snags it for the second out. That is it. The center field. Jason. Here's Jason Hayward. Hayward. Yeah. Fastball for a strike. That one the other way. Base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Pretty good changeup on the outside corner, but he did exactly what you're supposed to do with that pitch. See it deep and keep your hands inside it to drive it the other way. 
Miguel Rojas at the play. Lifted in the air right center field. On the move. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that's the inning. One left for L.A. They're down one nothing. And we're back. Now it's the shortstop, David Hamilton. All right, singing, you know I'm a dork. Shohei Otani, go back to May 5th, 2022 at Fenway Park. He tossed a complete game through 99 pitches. Get this, 81 strikes. It was the most strikes thrown with less than 100 pitches in a game since they started tracking pitch counts. That's just unreal. Left-hand batter waits. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Man, that pitch was dotted. So much talent on display when this guy's out there on the hill. Left-hand hitter waits. Fouls one off. Two and two. Kicks and fires. We chase that He's time. Ready. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Hernandez settles underneath it. Makes the grab one down. So digging in, Sidane Rafaela. Rafaela, 23 years old. And he's a native of Curacao. Just missed. Just oh. missed. Oh. And misses inside. That just hey, missed. He walked him on four pitches. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter now didn't offer at it. Let now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Durand. Now batting Jaron Duran. He's over one. And yeah, that skips in the dirt. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. Hit hard. Should be extra bases. Rafaela, round second on his way to third. Headed for the plate. The relay to third, and he's in there. And a run comes in to score. Well done, drives in the run. Ripped that one down the line and kept it fair. And even when you hit it that far out front, you still have to keep your hands tight to your body so you don't hook around that baseball and put it in foul territory. And that right there was perfect. Runner at third with one gone. Willier Abreu up next for the Red Sox. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Off the mark there. Ball one. Righty delivers. In the air to left center. Hayward sizes this one up. Squeezes it. Runner tags for home. The throw is offline and he's in to score. It's three zip. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner right third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. O'Neill takes ball. a ball as he stands in for the second time. Two outs, base is empty. Ooh. 
Two. And he chases that one below the one zone. One From a pitcher's perspective, that's a beautiful splitter right there. As a hitter, you don't like it, but he's commanded his fastball, and out of that same tunnel, that splitter comes, and the bottom just falls out of it. And a swing and a miss there. One ball, two strikes. Pitch misses. The count now two and two. And delivers outside. Raphael Devers on deck for Boston. Two outs. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Righty to the plate. Short hop liner handled it short. Sends it across the first, third out, and that ends the frame. So two runs, only one hit, no errors, and no one left on. We head now to the home half of inning number three. It's the Red Sox three and the Dodgers nothing. Set for the bottom of the third, and now here is Chris Taylor. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't oh. give that other team any hope. One ball. Uh, you just oh, hope great. that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Rafaela has a beat on it, and there's one down. Batting nine, the third baseman. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. Biggio. This guy who grew up in big league clubhouses, got to be a nice feeling, Siggy, when your father played in the big leagues and he passes down all that wisdom. And first offering is fouled off. I can only imagine the comfort level of being in the ballpark for those kids who are fortunate enough to have a dad that played in the big leagues. Them being on the Come baseball on. field, for some it's pressure. For them, they feel that they are right at home. Oh. And that's in the dirt. One and two. The Red Sox leading by three here in the last half of the third. The other way, hauls it in, and there's two away. It's never fun going back to the Nobody, dugout Nobody after hitting the line drive that finds Second a glove, baseman. but you will get some yeah, high man. fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Lux hey. swings through that one Come as on. one he straight. comes to the plate for the second time today. Swing and a miss. And the oh, count is 0-2. And, and the righty deals. Well, one ball, two strikes. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. And that ends the inning. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. Still down 3 0. Out of the fourth, and here is Devers. Here's a fun fact Dodger Stadium was also the home of the Los Angeles Angels for four years in the 1960s while they waited for Anaheim Stadium to be built. When the Angels were playing games at home, instead of Dodger Stadium, they called it Chavez Ravine Stadium. You know, these Red Sox doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. It's not just the three runs they've already scored. On top of that, 
They forced this starter to throw more pitches than he wanted to at this point of the game. Everything came together for him. And you see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, you know, I start wondering, and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? This time, 106. Oh. Valdez at the plate now. That's ball one. The 1 0. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. And a swing and a miss. One and two. The pitch. That one inside. And it's two and two. Devers on at first. Nobody out. Just outside, and it's three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. At the belt and fires. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. Runner at first with no outs here. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. Next to hit, Connor Wong. 0 for 1 so far. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Breaking ball in there for a strike. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. And there's a ball. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely. And I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game. Lux, one at second. On to first, double play. And that's the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. And midway in the fourth, it's the Red Sox three and the Dodgers nothing. Of the fourth Leader at the play. The Freddie Freeman. The first baseman. Freddie. Freeman. Crawford back to work. And first offering is fouled off. That one is upstairs. Line to left. Duran tracks it down for the out. Now batter. The catcher. Will. The batter now will be Will Smith. First round pick out of Louisville in 2016. In there and it's 0-1. Boog, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that. He could have a really good day out there on the mound. Right through there for a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. One Missed ball. inside with the curve. Base is empty, one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Next oh. pitch is outside. And the right-hander deals. Swing and a miss. Some high cheese for strike three. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Two outs, base is empty. Teoscar Hernandez will hit next. First pitch misses. One and zero. There's a strike. That 
That one misses. Two and Two one. one. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Comes up empty. That's strike two. It normally does damage on that pitch in that location. Just a swing and a miss there. I don't think you want to throw it again, though. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Got him. Getting over on the strikeout. Ready now for the fifth inning. And now Dominic Smith. Dominic Smith. The pitch. That just misses. And it's one and oh. Now he breaks his bat. Scoops it up barehanded, and that's yeah. a great play for the out. Good late life on that inside fastball. Ran in on the hands and got that weak contact. Little slow grounder to get the out. David Hamilton up next for the Red Sox. Fly to left his first time. He swings and fouls one off. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. One down, base is empty. Nope, that's high. Next hey, pitch two. in for a strike, one, one and, and two. two. The shortstop takes a ball. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Now two out. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way, so credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly, he had him fooled. And next for the Red Sox, Sedane Rafaela. The walk and a run scored his first time. That's in there. Going one. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. Oh, one down. Rip to third, but handled, and that'll end the inning. One, two, three, go the Red Sox, but they lead it three nothing. We head to the bottom of the fifth, the and now the right fielder, Andy right Pajes. Andy Pajes. The wind and the pitch. On the inside corner for a strike. And there's a foul ball. The pitch. Swings and misses. Struck him out. That's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I'd call it a power curveball in the 80s. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swinging strikeout. Ripped on the ground a second. Over to Smith. And a couple of quick outs. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he no, wanted to get that ball in that. the air. Maybe drive Shut it up. into the gap. Miguel. Two outs, space is empty. Rojas. And up next for Los Angeles, Miguel Rojas. Shut. And that's through there for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning number five. Well, this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. 
Two down, nobody on. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Just misses with that one. One ball, two strikes. Battling here as he fouls it away. Run. Swing and a miss. <laughs> and he's down on strikes. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down one, two, three. Dodgers go down quietly. They trail in this one, three nothing. Back here in L.A. and stepping in is the speedy Jaron Duran. The pitch. There's a strike. Duran, 27 years old, and he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2018. Here comes a pitch. That misses. And now it's even one, one and ball, one. one Movement in the bullpen. Landon Knack looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Bonda also throwing. Right hander kicks deals. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Hayward under it. Puts it away for the out. Up next for the Red Sox. The right fielder. Now the number two hitter, Willier Abreu. He's 0 for 1. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And here it comes. Bye. Right through there for a strike. Goes down swinging for the strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Chris third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. O'Neal, the next to hit, takes ball one. That one not close. And that's ball two. Two down, nobody on. And we're the top half of the sixth. Next offering in there for a strike. Two and one now. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. Two outs. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And he'll pull into second safely. Oh, the throw is over his head. Now Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Rafael Devers up to hit. He gets the attention to walk here and now a force at any base with two gone. Now batting. Second baseman. And Manuel. And here comes Baldwin. the Dodgers manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. Otani will depart. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound.
New pitcher for the Dodgers, Landon Knack. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Now at the plate, Ed Manuel Valdez. He launched a solo shot back in the second inning of this one. Yeah, that was big for these guys early on. Definitely helped them get off onto the right foot. Popped up. Lux gets under it. Corrals it. And that is that. Boston strands a pair, but they lead it 3 nothing. And welcome back Leading to the ballpark. The Here Dolphins. comes Chris Taylor. The designated hitter. Taylor, a Red. middle infielder by trade, Taylor. played his college baseball at the University of Virginia. And the right hitter back to work. And there's the strike. When a guy's throwing a lot of first pitch strikes as a hitter, you got to be ready to hit. Now, that's not going to help you get deep into his pitch count and into the bullpen, but you got to take what he's offering that day. That one well upstairs. And that is ball one. And a pitch. Swings and misses. And it's one and two. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. And the one two misses to even the count. Picks up strikeout number seven. Probably showing some pretty dominating stuff out there in this one, not just in terms of swing and miss, but also in terms of command. You know, all the strikeouts, they just kind of speak for themselves, but when you don't walk anyone, you're demonstrating that you have the confidence in your abilities to truly go right after opposing batters. Biggio at the plate for the second time as he takes ball one. The Red Sox leading by three here in the bottom of the sixth. Next pitch is outside. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2 0, he's put himself in a really good spot. One down, base is empty. That one finds the corner, and it's 2 and 1. And a curve is down and in. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. And a pop up right side foul territory. Makes the grab and there's two down. The batter number nine. Second baseman Gavin back to the top of the Dodgers order and now it's Gavin Lux pitch misses there and that's ball one and a swing and a miss one ball one strike In the air, left side. Durant makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Back here at Chavez Ravine, we go to the top of the seventh, and now it's the catcher for the Red Sox, Connor Wong. And the pitch right through there for a strike. Dolan at bat can be a little bit of a dance. Strike one here, but 
a few more pitches. We'll see how it turns out. The 0 1. Oh. That one missed. Well, well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much oh. outside plate coverage. And another ball. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. Pulls it in for the out. Now it's Dominic Smith. That immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Most hitters are looking for a first pitch fastball. You're not really timed up for a changeup. So if it's well located by the pitcher, he can get strike one. In the air, out towards left center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. Now batting. Shortstop, David Hamilton. Two outs, base is empty. And stepping in for Boston, David Hamilton. And that one a little below the knees. And that's ball one. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball. One one now. Swung on, belted. Pajes going back. Bangs off the wall. Safely into second. He's got a double. He absolutely ripped that ball out front and almost got it out of here, man. Just a really strong balanced swing and a fraction of an inch different on the bat, and it is probably out of here. So stepping in for Boston, Sidane Rafaela. You see the velocity 97 with that fastball. Runner at second, two down. Here at the top half of inning number seven. Next Ooh. offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Goes down looking. One hit, one left. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Red Sox three and the Dodgers nothing. And we're back, set for the last half of the seventh. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Freddie Freeman. Crawford back to work. Breaking ball inside. One and out. Ball one. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally. And this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. Next Ooh. offering is in for a strike. Big at bat right here. He did the team thing, took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work, shorten up that swing a little bit, do whatever it takes to get on base. Hard ground ball, base knock. So a man on base to start the inning. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Wasn't able to elevate that one, but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield. There's not a whole lot of time for the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that. And up to the plate is Will Smith. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. 
Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. And a pitch. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Righty delivers. One ball. In the dirt. Blocked. Well done behind the dish. Slider misses outside. Two balls, two strikes. Nobody out. Runner at first. Still two and two after the foul ball. And he deals. Got him swinging. One gone here. And now Teoscar Hernandez. Teoscar Hernandez. And that one fouled off. That breaking ball is in for a strike, and quickly it is nothing in two. One and two. In the dirt, and the runner holds. And the righty deals. Fights that one away, still one and two. And a swing and a miss. The hat trick. Two away. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch oh after giving up the leadoff four. single. Back to back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Check swing on the first pitch. Appeal down to first. And no swing, says James Kingsley. Freeman leads off first with two down to the inning. In there at the knees for a strike. Well, this looks like it's going to be a wasted opportunity. It's frustrating when you get the leadoff man on, but you can't get him into scoring position. They're going to need a big knock. Try to put something up on the board. Now that's smack to right center. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Oh, the throw is wild. Put a pretty good yeah, jolt into that one. Great That's swing, good. nice balance and Great weight job. transfer. And he got it to drop Big in world. out there in the deep part of the field. And next for L.A., Jason Hayward. One for two. Swings and misses. Strike one. one. The tying run at the plate. On the ground, right side. They take the force out, inning over. Still in total command on the mound with seven shutout innings. It's the Red Sox three and the Dodgers nothing. Back here at Dodger Stadium, ready to begin the eighth. Here's the left fielder, Jaron Duran. The pitch. And that one fouled off. What? Up and in, and the count is one and one. In the air, left field, down the line, and that will drop foul.
the one two stays alive. And they'll do it again. The one two. two and two. another ball. And a pitch. Lifted in the air, right field. Pajes under this one. Drops into the glove, and there's one down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up now enough to really drive it. Fielder, and next for the Red Sox, Willier Abreu. Ball nope, one, no play. strikes. Fastball for a strike. Left hand batter waits. Clobber to right field, way back, gone. A massive home run. And they boost their lead. It's 4 0. That was blasted. Absolutely, no doubt off the bat. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Now it's the DH, Tyler O'Neill. Swing and a miss. No Part of the order one coming straight. through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Righty to the plate. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Not in time. Hey. He's safe. The the Devers now. Devers, the baby faced assassin. Missed oh. inside with the curve. Oh. Next offering is in for a strike. over and he's back in on a dive one run across in the frame so far and we're in the top of the eighth and another ball he's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound getting hit around a little bit let's see if he can settle himself down left hand hitter waits and a 2-1 hammered but foul And a good no, eye there. O'Neill leads off first with one away. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Payoff pitch. Liner, and that should be extra bases. O'Neill around second, headed for third. Coming home. Relay throw home. The tag, and he's in there. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great.
They go with one of their more experienced arms in this spot, Ryan Yarbrough. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Man at second with one away. And Manuel Valdez up next for the Red Sox. And first offering is fouled off. And that one is inside. One out and a runner at second. Next pitch way upstairs. This one popped up. Biggio settles under this one. Puts it away for the out. And there are two outs. The batter, the catcher, Connor Wong. And here's the catcher, Connor Wong. It's amazing we get a chance to talk to a lot of opposing managers. This guy scares managers on the other team as much as anyone. And he gets to fly beneath the radar with the other more recognizable names in this lineup. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Johan Ramirez getting loose out there. Hudson also getting ready. ball drops in for a strike oh one squirts away a little one bit ball. two strike Nice job behind the plate there. Two outs and one in scoring position. Foul ball still a one and two count. Man on second, two down. Inside, just missed. It's a good two, take. Two. Kicks and fires. Into center and a base hit. Around third. Fires it to the plate. It's offline. The run comes in. It's six nothing. Just a great at bat right there. Saw a lot of pitches. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. So two down. Dom Smith stands in. And that clips the inside corner. And now the lefty, and it's fouled away. Already three runs across in the frame. All Red Sox in this one. Can't connect on the curveball, struck him out. So they get three runs on four hits. One was the solo homer. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Red Sox six, and the Dodgers nothing.
back here in L.A. And now the shortstop, Miguel Rojas. The why to kick the pitch. Right through there for a strike. I really like how he's been attacking hitters early in at bats. He's thrown strikes on the first pitch to over 70% of the guys he's faced in this one. Here's your one. Whoa. Just missed. Next offering upstairs. I can't play around with him here. It's a six run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters, even if you give up a solo shot. Next offering in there for a strike. Two and two now. to the pitch foul ball another 2 2 upcoming the wind of the pitch That's got right. him looking and there's one away well just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there and I don't think he was taking no, it thinking it might be a cold ball or anything right. I just think he was flat out frozen Taylor. did not expect that location in my opinion Taylor oh. in the box again takes a strike Oh, he's just oh, about to throw his 100th pitch. Man, he's got the chance to get through this eighth inning if he can get two more quick outs. Just one pitch short of 100 now, and I'm guessing this is likely his final inning if he can get through it. And that one pulled foul. One down, base is empty. Oh, that one misses. Oh. It's two and two. Man, that's too high. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Digging in, Kevin Biggio. That one hammered center field. That's back there. Caught just shy of the wall. The batter, number nine. Second baseman, Gavin. Now it's the Dodger leadoff hitter, Gavin Lux. Outside corner, there's a strike. No ball, one strike. Taylor off of first with two away. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. He was all over that one. Really good Ready. swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Freeman, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. pitch that's and down ball. and in that no. one off the mark and a count two and a one tough spot right here a couple runners on two ball count 
you can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Just a slow ground ball this time. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Totally dominant on the mound as he's through eight without surrendering a run. It's the Red Sox six, and the Dodgers nothing. We go to the ninth, and the batter will be the shortstop, David Hamilton. David Hamilton. Yarborough, a 6'5 lefty. 215 pounds and he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2014 swing and a miss as he was out front a pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge just changing planes and very difficult especially for a left-handed hitter to track the shortstop takes a ball The wind and the pitch. On the ground at first, and he picks it up in foul territory. Here's a one two. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. And stepping in for Boston, Sidane Rafaela. Rafaela. Wouldn't nope, chase that right. time. Base is empty one away here at the top of the ninth. Right, right through there move. for a strike. On the ground oh, and the foul ball. One down, base is empty. That the misses ball. the zone. Two and two. two. Up the middle, and he knocks it down. Not in time and legs it out. The bat, the left field, Karen Duran. Back to the top of the lineup. Now the left fielder, Jaron Duran. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. And the 0-2. Oh. Just missed. Popped in the air. Left field. Dives and he can't hang on. Lead runner touches second. Headed for third. In there He's safely. In. Now batting. Right field. Second and third, one gone. Willier Abreu getting ready to hit. He's already homered here in this one. one and ball, ball one. Okay. And the 1-0. And that's a strike. 
Second and third here. One away. Next oh, offering is down low. Dirt, nice job behind the play. Two on, one out. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. Hanging in there pretty good against the lefty. Three and two now. Good job to fight that one off. The pitch. And there's a base hit to left. One run is in. The throw in, not in oh, time. He's okay. safe. It's 8 nothing. But when you see that many pitches in it at bat, your chances of succeeding go up. And right there, we see the result. And next is the designated hitter, Tyler O'Neill. And first offering is fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out of that double play. Oh. And that just misses. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Got him swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Now it's Devers at the plate. In there at the knees, and that is strike one. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Good no. eye right there. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. The 1 1. Out towards right center field. Pajes makes a nice running catch. Bottom of the ninth coming up, and we'll see if he can complete the shutout after the break. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth, Chris Martin. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Will Smith now at the plate. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. The pitch. And yeah, that's downstairs and outside. There's a strike. And the right hander deals. Strike on the inside corner. And the count one and two. Kicks and deals. Hard on the ground to first. 
And he handles he it bounced. himself for the out. Now batting, left fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. Teoscar Hernandez, the next to hit. 0 for 3 with three strikeouts. That's in there, and it's 0 and 1. Up the middle, and a base hit right there. The right fielder, number 44. Runner on at first with one gone. Now it's the right fielder, Andy Pajes. There's a strike. Hernandez, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Close one doesn't get the call. And one and one. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And here it comes. It's in and out of his glove. And no shot to get him at first. There's two aboard. Up next to the top. The center fielder. Jason Hayward. Here in the bottom of the ninth, one out. Here's the center fielder, Jason Hayward. That's in there. It's 0-1. Well, in this situation with runners on, you've got to get ahead in the count so that you can dictate the rest of the at-bat. Nice job right there. The 0-1. Foul ball there. Pitch misses, and a count one and two. One out, runners at first and second. Fouls it off, still one and two. Hi. Sets him down on strikes. Just one out remaining for the Dodgers. The batter number 11. Miguel Rojas Shortstop. steps to the plate for the Miguel. Dodgers. Rojas. And yeah, that's a little bit high. The Red Sox up big in this one here in the last half of inning number nine. Line drive, and he'll put it away. Ball game, and the Red Sox take this one in a blowout. Well, a big win by eight runs, and when you have that kind of lead, you make it easier for the pitching staff to come out, make their pitches, pitch to contact, and not worry about giving up the lead. So nice job today all the way around to get the W. Eight nothing is how this one ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. The final line score for this afternoon's ballgame. 
for the victorious Boston Red Sox. Eight runs on 12 hits. One error, they left six runners on base. For the Dodgers, no runs, seven hits, no runs.